also a waterbed mattress that I found on the trash that I split open. And that way I can leave it back here. Don't have to worry about anybody taking it. If they take it, I ain't got no loss in it. It's going to feel a little wopsided because when you open it up, it's not perfectly square. And I wanted to save y'all time from watching me harvest these uh, logs, these posts, and save you some time from watching me have to lash it. I actually did the frame about, I don't know, about two, three weeks ago. Just been playing with it, just now got time to come back out here. Everybody should recognize where we're at. We're at a semi-permanent camp spot. This saves me from having to drive to go anywhere to enjoy myself. Okay. It's going to be part one because there's going to be more to this that I'm going to show. I'm eventually going to bring me a regular tarp out here and set this whole tarp up. And uh, These cross members I'm putting in right now, this is for my body bag for for putting putting my cot on. Y'all see that later. Okay, that's the start of my start of my permanent campsite shelter. Hopefully y'all get the idea of it. It's really no big deal. It's pretty much what everybody else has done. I see I'm gonna have to put this leg up some so in that way to be even. Okay, real short one. This is like going to be part part one. And uh, anyway, this is my idea. Right over here, where this water bed is, it's got a water bed fill and drain right here. What I plan on doing is setting this up, so in that way, whenever I'm not here, all the water will gather over in this corner and go down inside of a water bucket, so I have a water collection system. Okay. You know, I've been out here probably for about two hours so far. I ain't seen no snakes, and so far I ain't got no ticks on me. I better knock on wood. The last time I was out here, as you remember, I got 15 ticks on me. And I had a king snake I had to run off. Okay. See you later.